Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to be looking at um, this new gaming headset. So, it's a Steel Series Arctic 7. As you can see, um, PC Gamer is saying it's from the makers of the best gaming headset, so it should have good company with its stable mates. So, we'll just have a quick look at the box first of all and go around. It's quite a nice modern looking box. Really smart. I'll show you all the different sides. So, here's the uh, all the bump on the back, all the bits of detail, I what it's going to do. And the features got it. So what's really nice about this, it is wireless. Um, so um, I'm in the habit of uh, ripping cables out if I occasionally win a game in my excitement. This would be quite nice to um, not have to do that. Um, looking at other reviews online, they're really comfortable as well. And we'll go into that in a bit more detail later on. So that is the box. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll open her up. Okay, so we've just got the seals, so we'll open it up and see how it looks inside. Which is proving pretty difficult. Okay, let's put that up there, that's pretty cool. So it's really well packaged inside as you can see, really nice. So there's the accessories themselves. So it's a USB headset, it'll be wireless as well. So this looks like uh, the possibly the receiver. Well, let's have another look at the end. I'll show you it up and running. Some instructions. I'm a bloke, so probably not going to read those, let's be honest. And some other, some other cables as well to. Uh, Set it up. Let me just move the camera a little bit. As you can see. And then another cable as well. So there's all sorts in here. So there's USB to there's mini USB. There's a mini USB to three and a half mil. And there's this fellow here as well. But we'll have a look and get it set up in a second. Let's get rid of some boxes. And get this inside as well. Asking if we love it or hate it. <laughs> it's quite cool. But we love it. Basically just asking us to tell people if we hate it. Telling us to go where we need to go to get some support. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the headphones themselves. So they're pretty cool. I guess this uh, design here could divide people if they like it or not. I actually quite like that. I think it's pretty cool. And I decided on these headphones just on reviews and what I felt might be good value for money. And this looks like the mic. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like to put it in there. That sorts away quite nicely. It's not going to get in the way too much. And then we've got some different controls um, on the back as well. So there is. You can see this one, the, the, the glare's not too bad. So this dial here, you can change the mix between game and um, chat, which is pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. On the back of this other one, so we've got a microphone on or off mute, um, volume, and this is where we would charge or use them as wired headset if we wanted to. So really versatile, um, so you might be, uh, Unfortunate to see my ugly mug wearing them shortly, um, just so you can see what they look like on. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll get it set up on the PC. So obviously we've got the headphones, or the headset. Uh, this little thing here, I've been looking at it. Um, this is actually if you want to use it with a games console instead. So the little jack there would go in the bottom of uh, an Xbox One controller, for example. For so we're not going to use that one. Uh, one thing we definitely need is this fella, so this is the receiver, Bluetooth receiver. So we'll uh, open that and we'll plug it in. Now 
Everything's ridiculously hard to get out of the packaging. Okay, so I'm just going to use one of the front USB slots for now on my computer. I'll post the specs of the PC as well if anyone's interested. Put that in the description. So I've put that in. You can see there's a light flashing there, so it's searching for the headphones. I'm going to pop it on top. I'll tidy all that away later once we've got everything working. Um, you may have heard the Windows noise um, as well. Um, if not, he's probably overshadowed by the fan from the PC. Um, so. I'm going to power on the headphones now. That's if they've got any charge. Maybe they haven't got any charge and we need to charge them for a bit. So you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but the power light's now flashing. I'm going to plug the charger in just to see. So I'm just going to head uh, and I'm going to charge them. As you can see, just put the mini USB there. And I'm going to put the other USB in at the front. Now you'll see we've got the uh, the green light solid, so that's telling me that it's charging. Do need to sort these cables out because it's the right mess, but we'll do that later on. Um, we'll also go through some of the other features in a second, but we'll just have a look at the desktop and look at the setup there. So you can see here that we've gone into the just the sound settings within Windows, and um, I haven't changed anything. Just having a look, and they are. It's what's really good to see is that the PCs recognise them, recognise the headset, and set them as the default um, input and output device. So I had a, another headset recently, and every time I plugged it in, I had to go into these settings and faff around with them. So it's really nice that it's done it automatically, makes it really simple. The whole process has literally been plug and play. And um, there is a piece of software that you can download to go with the headphones. So we are going to go ahead and get that as well. I think it's remember rightly, it's called the Steel Series Engine. Um, we'll soon see in a second uh, that will give us a lot more options and um, to customize the sound profile of the headphones okay so um, they were really really easy to set up uh, we do however um, well we can if we want to it's optional because they're up and running literally plug and play and I'm recording this voice over on the headset mic um, so we'll see how that comes out as well um, is there's uh, some software you can get for it as well so there's Steel Series, and um, all I've done is search for Steel Series Engine. So we're going to click on that. We'll download the Windows one. Okay, so we'll just run the install wizard. Okay, so that's it all set up. So let's have a look at what we can do. Shut this down. Let's explore this properly. So it's recognised straight away without me doing anything that these are my headphones that's plugged in, and um, what the charge is. There's obviously a couple of updates to do. Let's maximise that. Oh, it's still not that much easy to read, is it? Um, and over here we can, um, I guess, configure or we'll make our own configurations as to what we want. There we go. So we've just clicked on that. So this is good that I've seen this actually, because when um, I was just listening to a little bit of music, I did notice the it was quite level, quite bland the sound. So we've got this EQ in here, which is really good, and I can see why now, because it's all set to uh, minimal settings. So uh, I imagine there's some presets in here. Fantastic. I wonder if it's a games one. I'll probably go for immersion. Um, so this will um, up the bass. A little bit now, and um, all the trebles probably up the, that treble a little bit more as well. Um, everything else seems all right, I guess. And um, we'll have a tinker with the sound settings and whatnot, I guess. If uh, anyone complains when I'm playing games, then um, uh, we'll see. So we're just going to install these um, extra bits of things. So what we're going to do is, um, in a nutshell, go away and play some games now, and. Um, I'll let you know what uh, I'll do this software update and I'll let you know what we think about it 
afterwards. So thank you for seeing a bit. Okay, so this is my ugly face uh, wearing the headset. Hello, sorry about that. Um, it's really, really comfy. What I found on the top here is, I don't know if you can see this head strap uh, affecting the size, is actually Velcro. Um, I've done a terrible job of making it look pretty there, as you can see, but it's really, really comfy. I've only been wearing it a couple of minutes, so um, who knows, um, after this uh, video is done, I am gonna go ahead and uh, hit uh, Battlegrounds for a couple of hours, so I'll let you know how that goes before uh, before the video's live. Um, pretty nice uh, headphones though so far, nice comfortable, really light. This fabric around the ears is really comfortable. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to go with the controls being on the ears rather than on something um, you know, in your hands. That could be something that might be a bit difficult, um, but we'll see. Um, if you have any questions about them um, then please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you when I can. Uh, take it easy. Okay so uh, I've now been wearing the headset for a couple of hours and I'm really pleased to say it's been extra comfortable. I've not really felt the need to uh, remove it with my ears getting a little bit hot from now, now and then but uh, nothing terrible compared to other headsets that I've had. Um, in terms of mic, uh, that's been absolutely fantastic. Not had any issues with that at all. Everyone's been able to hear me. It's never cut out, never been uh, too loud, which is great. Um, in terms of sound quality in ear, um, really good, really, really crisp. What it's probably lacking is if you're really, really into your bass, um, it's lacking um, sort of sub bass levels, um, but the ranges that it does pick up, really crystal clear. Um, no distortion whatsoever, even when you turn everything up to maximum. Um, really, really fantastic. Um, would I recommend that you go and buy a set? Um, yeah, I really, really would. Um, it's worth spending the extra money. These are about £120 from um, Amazon. Um, obviously, if you shop around, you might get it a little bit cheaper than that. Um, but overall, really fantastic, really comfortable. Um, so, pros, really comfy. Great sound quality, mic's excellent, and the fact that the wireless as well didn't detract from it whatsoever makes it really convenient. Um, the only little downside um, could be for some people is having that real, really low end bass quality. Um, it's not really there, it's like the whole, almost like the frequency has been completely missed out for some reason at the lower end, so that may upset a couple of people. Um, but I would definitely give them a strong sort of eight, eight and a half, maybe even a nine out of 10. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Sorry about to see my ugly face. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Um, as you probably see, we are quite a new channel. So um, we'd love it if you'd just subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any comments, put them uh, below. Thank you. Take care.